Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this is a similar tutorial to what I did um, uh, previously. It's a four-way switch tutorial <clears throat> and I uh, hear a lot of complaints about people not having access to the current meter um, and they want to do it without the current meter. So um, I figured out a way to do it and it's pretty um, Cheaply, you need a couple of components. Remove the current meter and add a couple of components to do a workaround. So <clears throat> let's get started. So here are the things we're gonna need for this tutorial: uh, Amazon Echo or Dot, Node MCU, um, and this should work with the ESP8266 chip. You know, if you don't have the development board, um, the micro USB cables. Uh, mechanical relay a diode um, I'm using 1N uh, 4007 um, the similar diodes can be used for this um, we need a resistor 47k ohm resistor um, at least half a watt um, so I tried the quarter watt it gets a little bit warmer so this one is pretty cool it just stays cold so um, So if you um, uh, have seen my previous tutorial, uh, three-way, four-way switch tutorial, we did a similar thing for the three-way and four-way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put together a three-way switch, but it is similar for the four-way from here on. It hooks up the same way. <clears throat> and uh, so basically what we need to do is uh, replace this current meter and somehow detect the current if the light bulb is on and off. If you're a little bit confused about this setup and um, uh, so I would suggest you to please go back and watch the tutorial 15 I believe um, I will include the link in description below so basically we need to remove this current meter and uh, somehow detect the current and make it simple enough so everybody can follow along so we're gonna go ahead and set this up um, so the way we're gonna do this is this so everything else is exactly the same uh, everything except there's no current meter only thing you see is from the uh, middle pole which is a common pole from the relay I have connected the a diode and then from there there's a, a half a watt uh, resistor 47 k ohm resistor and then from there uh, it gets connected to the A0 pin that's all it is um, and the one thing I did uh, change in the uh, code uh, before you had to actually go and measure uh, flash the uh, frameware into the node MCU and then measure the current and then update the code and flash it again uh, you won't have to do this anymore so once you uh, flash the frameware once you um, it's all set uh, you turn on the light bulb and press this flash button it would automatically calibrate it, measures the current, and then saves it into the memory, and it remembers it. So this way, the information is not lost. Anytime you change the uh, device and you want to recalibrate it, just simply press the button. You don't have to uh, flash the sketch over and over again, which you had to do for previously. So let's go ahead and put it together. So here I have um, a very simple setup uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, this is a, uh, a three-way switch. It's three poles, one, two, three. And I also have um, <clears throat> I also have the um, plug hooked up to it, so the hot wire comes through here and it connects there and um, uh, the other wire is uh, connected from here to the bulb and then the neutral one goes back into the plug itself so let's let's test this out make sure this works and then i'll show you how to hook it up i did that in previous tutorial too but you know, i wanted to do it a little bit better so people can understand it so now um, it is live i think if i turn it on off on off so let's modify this so very very easy to do this 
So first thing what we're going to do is you are going to remove this wire from here. And I wanted to simplify it. Last time I did it and it, I, it was not clear enough so I didn't get... Um, um, I wanted to do it better so so people can understand simplify it a little bit more. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to put so I want to show you. So I only removed the wire that was going from this switch to the bulb. So I'm going to set it this way so the both poles this side and this side facing this way. I'm going to put a relay, a three pole relay from here. <clears throat> um to uh like this. So what I want to do is I want to hook the wire from here to the this pole and wire from there to the other pole. So skip the. So basically, what I'm trying to say is uh, connect this side to this pole and connect that side to this pole and leave the middle one empty. That's where we're gonna hook this one up. So let's do that quickly. So basically this is what we did it looks like this so this is hot wire coming in here one pole connected from there to on this side of relay the other pole is connected from there to this side of relay in the center one we're gonna put the device whatever the light bulb or whatever device you want to control like this and also I took this um, as you can see the diode um, and the uh, resistor I soldered it already so I'm gonna put this diode on this side into the middle pole with that wire so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put that in here So I'm going to put that wire first. And now I'm going to do is put, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me cut it closer so you guys can see. And I'm going to put this diode in here also with that middle pole. And I'm going to hold it and fasten the screw. Make sure that it's in there. I mean, this is I'm just doing it for tutorial. Of course, you you don't need you won't be doing it this way. I mean, it's not safe, but you need to do it a uh, proper job of uh, maybe getting um, soldered onto the board itself or something like that or underneath it. Um, so this is it. Uh, this was pretty simple, straightforward. I hooked it up like that. <clears throat> so. Here I have hooked up a node MCU. Uh, it's already pre-flashed with that uh, code and I can show you the code. It's pretty simple. So I have this uh, sketch. Um, you could download the sketch from the um, this project right here. I will include the link in the video description. So you just download the sketch <clears throat> and uh, you open up this file and there are two um, files will open up in the, the Adreno IDE. The only thing you need to do is put it in your SSID and put in your SSID password and you flash it and that's it. And um, after that, um, uh, you just need to turn on your light bulb and calibrate it. So let's do that. So, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is um, I have um, Right here, uh, the wires hooked up. So um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, so there's a three volt and a ground. So white one is going to the three volt. The black one going to the ground. And uh, uh, this one is uh, D4, I believe, on the board. 
Um, not sure what the D4 is. I think GPIO2. So which is in the sketch, it's the same thing. So they're hooked up here and you guys can see it. Um, D4. Uh, and this so this is this is gonna get hooked up to the relay and then I'll show you what the blue one goes which is um, hooked up to the um, a0 right here which is I believe it's 17 GPIO 17 but if you guys are using the same GPIOs you don't need to worry about it because the sketch is using already this so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my relay so I want to show, make sure the white one is ground. I mean, I'm sorry, white one is the positive and the black one is ground and the gray one is signal. Like so. Let me get the Alexa in here, so hold this thing. And so now next what you need to do is this, what is going to A0 pin right here. You connect this to this resistor. There you go. And so this is already um, flashed, so you need to flash it. And now we're gonna go back to our uh, console and we'll look at it. I remove I commented out all the debug information in there um, so if you guys having issues you can uncomment all the print statements in there so I'm gonna go ahead and excuse me <clears throat> connect this and uh, turn it on and I'll toggle it to make sure it comes on and off so manually I can do this so now uh, once you give a, a discover command, it should be able to discover it. And then after that, what you need to do is you press this flash button right here. You let it go. And then as you can see on the console, it calibrated itself. And now on, <clears throat> so um, once it's discovered, you calibrate it, then you're ready to go. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and give commands and to control it either if it's on or off. Alexa, turn on demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn on demo switch. So you can see it's on, it knows, so it won't turn it off. Otherwise, if you don't have that sensor, a sense, a current sensing going on, it won't be able to function. So Alexa, turn off the demo switch. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it on, on this side. So it doesn't matter who, either Alexa does it or you do it from the switch. Either way, you can turn it on and off. <clears throat> Alexa. Turn off demo switch. Okay. So here is a very, very simple uh, tutorial. And you can see, I mean, removing, anybody can uh, buy the diode and uh, um, the resistor. They're available. doesn't matter uh, where you are. And hopefully people who are having trouble uh, with not having access to the current meter, we'll be able to use this. I'm sure um, you want to probably insulate uh, this stuff because there's a high voltage here. And uh, this is just to demo purposes, so be careful when you're working with mains. So this was a very, very simple tutorial. I got so many questions about it and people complaining that they're unable to access the um, current meter. And uh, hopefully uh, this will be helpful to you guys. And uh, this is not only for the three-way switch, actually, uh, this same setup could work for the four-way switch. If you see my previous video in there, you just remove this and put a four-way switch and exactly this is how it gets hooked up. And this should work for um, uh, any of those setups. 
So I hope you liked this video and uh, let me know what you think and please provide your feedback to help me to do a better job on my tutorials. I have other uh, tutorials coming in, especially the the one with the uh, Alexa taking out the trash. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like a little bit uh, going slow on it, uh, but it'll be pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about it. So stay tuned, please. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, until next time, bye.